This afternoon in Florida, a federal judge did rule that the man who attempted to kill Donald Trump the second time, this is at Trump International in West Palm Beach, will be held in prison until his trial. Now, the move came after the DOJ released a cryptic letter written by the would-be assassin months before he attempted this attack on Donald Trump. Uh, that admitted he had a desire to kill Trump, offering money to anybody who could successfully do so. Now the DOJ released the letter because they needed evidence to convince the judge to keep the deranged lunatic in prison. But did they really need to broadcast this, you know, offer, this bounty on somebody's head to the entire world? Because it seems a little odd and, you know, another reason why the state of Florida is continuing thanks to Ron DeSantis, to conduct their own investigation into what happened here. And what about the Secret Service? We had an agent accidentally discharging his gun over the weekend while on duty. What is going on here? Anyway, Missouri Senator Josh Hawley is with us. Let me, let me ask you about this. So they, they didn't secure the area that it was known where paparazzi hang out, a vulnerable part of this golf course within, you know, depending on which area you're in, um, they didn't secure the area. And, and that, to me, is unconscionable. On top of the Butler failure, you have two assassins now coming within 100 to 300 yards of Donald Trump. How is that possible? Yeah, well, it shouldn't be possible, Sean. That's the problem. And here's the deal. I mean, we've had people from within Secret Service come forward to my office and say that it is standard protocol on that very golf course, which Trump plays all the time, by the way. It is standard protocol to go and sweep it, number one, before he gets onto the course. Number two, where there are known vulnerabilities, like where the paparazzi gather, which is where that shooter was, they normally post up agents there. But they didn't do that on the day that Trump was nearly shot at again. Why in the world not? I mean, we need some answers. And I tell you what, Sean, I listened to the directors, the Secret Service directors' press conference on Friday. We didn't get any answers. He barely talked about anything. It was all about, oh, well, we promised to do better and we're doing our own investigation. Listen, why don't you change some stuff? Start protecting Donald Trump. Start protecting the people who go to his rallies. The Secret Service is in a world of hurt right now, and, and because of it, uh, people are in danger. They need, to, they need to give us some answers. The, the biggest problem I have, and I, I will, I, I think it's important to bifurcate out the agents that were on the golf course with President Trump, the amazing job all yeah. of them did. They protected the president. They got him out of the area. One very, very sharp guy happened to see the barrel of a gun. In many ways, I would argue he got lucky. He's great at his job. He got lucky. Those guys deserve our praise for their courage, for their heroism. But you bring up the important point. They didn't sweep the area. And then the acting director said that the plan worked. Now, that's like telling me that we had a sloped roof in Butler where they wouldn't allow you to even inspect it right after the assassination attempt. Uh, that was like that, that sloped roof, roof excuse, and it wasn't a sloped roof. So I don't know what to make. If that plan is the one that worked, how do you define failure? Oh, exactly. You know, I'll never forget, Sean, that director telling me under oath in a Senate hearing that, uh, boy, it really could have been a lot worse than Butler. I mean, this, it could have been like uh, Dallas in 1963. And I'm like, could have been. I mean, a civilian was killed. Trump was shot. I mean, he was actually shot. Let's not forget uh, what happened there. And listen, now we've got another shooting attempt. Clearly, what they're doing is not working, number one. Number two, Sean, they're not following their own protocols. That's what the whistleblowers tell me. And I just want to know, what's the truth here? What's going on at the Secret Service? And you're right, it's leadership. That's the problem here. These agents in the field, they're working their butts off. They're doing what they can. But their leadership is failing them. And I tell you what, they need to do something to instill some confidence. We need to see some people fired. We need to see new protocols put into place. We need to be assured that Trump is being protected and everybody going to his rallies are being protected. And Sean, right now, I don't have confidence in any of that. Well, you know, I've been told by sources within the Trump camp that repeatedly they have asked for extra protection. Repeatedly they have been denied that protection. Have you had any whistleblowers telling you the same? 
Yes, absolutely. I've heard the same thing. In fact, Sean, I heard that with regard to the Butler rally, even the Secret Service agents who were detailed to the Trump campaign, they were requesting more resources, and Secret Service headquarters told them ahead of time, hey, don't make any more requests for Butler. We're not going to give you any more manpower. And then, Sean, they turn around and tell us, oh, we never formally denied any additional resources to Butler. That's because the Secret Service told them ahead of time, don't make any requests. This is ridiculous. This is what I mean by Secret Service leadership here has a lot of explaining to do. And frankly, holding these press conferences where they don't answer any real questions, they don't give us any real information, they assure us that things are working. Things are not working when assassins are continuing to get within 100, 200 yards of the former president and the current Republican nominee. They've got to do something different. And it starts with being honest about what's going on. Well, that's close. If they think the plan works, that's not happening. And the uh, and I would be very clear here: um, we have to protect any politician, high-ranking, any presidential candidate, Democrat, Republican, liberal, conservative. It doesn't matter. That's their job. The guys that around President Trump did their job, but they didn't sweep the area, and they created yet another opportunity for a would-be assassin to get that close to President Trump. It can't happen to anybody. Anyway, Senator, thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.